And without any ado, we're going to jump right into the lightning round. And since it is the lightning round, I'm going to fire off the names of the three winners for this part in quick succession. We have, uh, you know, Plexi, where we'll have Mike Bouchong, VP of Marketing, talking about them. Uh, we have One Convergence, where we have uh, the founder member, Prasad Vilanki, giving us a, an overview of what they're doing. And finally, we'll have uh, uh, Pertino, where we have, we have CEO Craig Elliott, uh, talking about what Pertino is doing. And he, as you'll see, they're all doing very different things in the SDI space, and it'll be interesting to see what they tell us in the next three minutes each. Let's start off with uh, Prasad of One Convergence. Thank uh, Tai for uh, providing us the venue and also selecting us uh, as uh, one of the winners of the lightning round. Okay, One Convergence, uh, we are a startup located in not far from here in Santa Clara. Uh, we are innovating in this whole SDN and network virtualization. What we are trying to do, our solution uh, allows uh, dynamic uh, creation of uh, multi-tenant uh, multi networks which are, can be self-serviced, right? And also, it, it creates on top of uh, overlay networks uh, on an existing physical infrastructure. Where where the while this has been being done from last one year, talking about the whole L2 overlays or L3, there's not a whole lot around L4 to L7. Where we believe an app or a business logic is deployed, it's not just about plumbing L2. It's all about getting the whole uh, security, the load balancing, everything together in one place. And how do you virtualize them? How do you multi? How do you make it multi-tenant? And on top of it one needs to also look at these apps and these are very heterogeneous environment and with a lot of um, multiple vendors and how do you provide a way to, for them to be deployed and also provide new features for them to kind of innovate on top of it. And that's where what we are trying to do. Um, our, our, our solution is completely software solution uh, which runs on existing L3 physical infrastructure, uses the V switches on the hypervisors and uh, allows you to create complex topologies, network topologies uh, of both networks, L2 networks, and also services, right, the network services. Where we are innovating is around bringing those network services into the L2 by basically doing a, uh, the, or the getting them inserted and chaining them at a, at a basic level, and also providing the distribution and optimizing in the cloud. And not only that, going beyond that and allowing, allowing it, in, and one of the big problems of cloud is the scaling and scale out a particular service. How do you scale out and also scale up, right, within a, within a service? So we're trying to innovate in the, in the edge to accelerate some of these services independent of the service, right? So that's very important as you bring along these services. So heterogeneity is a very big thing, and therefore one, that's where we're trying to innovate. Our initial deployment, of course, is going to be, I mean, we are completely standards-based, and that's very important in this area, uh, being standards and working with a lot of vendors, right? Our deployment initially is going to be in OpenStack, working with open V switches and, and optimizing them, right? At both from a, from a control plane, not only that, at a data plane, right? Looking at from a, in, a, in an independent fashion, right? Today, uh, we are, we are working with a customer uh, in order to kind of uh, develop this technology. And, in pa and what we are doing is actually we, we haven't announced this product yet. We are previewing at the, at the show floor. Uh, please join us. We can, again, we can talk a lot more detail on what, where we are innovating and what we are trying to do. And again, I thank you a lot. Thanks a lot for the tie providing this uh, venue. Thank you very much. That's fine. Okay, um, so I think if, if you were to, to look at networking over the last uh, you know ten years or so, I think the innovation has been far outpaced by the compute and, and storage guys, and it's starting to be exposed. And so you're seeing a, a real rush of money into the into the uh, the, the networking space. Um, and so, uh, I guess, uh, from a Plexi perspective, we look at this and we say, well, we're an industry of incrementalists. We keep building on what was there in the, in, in the past. And, and if you look at, at how you get real innovation, it's not just, um, you know, kind of building from, from what was already there. In some cases, you need to rethink the purpose of the network. And so, at Plexi, we start with the purpose. Now, if you were to explain networking to your, your spouses, your kids, whatever, you would say that, that networking, well, what does the network do? It allows this thing to talk to that thing, this application to that server, this user to that application, but we use the word talk, and I think we've gotten it colloquially correct. 
Um, what the network is about is conversations. And if the network's about conversations, then you ought to build the network with conversations in mind. And so at Plexi, what we've done is we've started there. Now the thing about conversations is conversations are dynamic. There we go. Conversations are dynamic and they, they change, right? They, they, they come up, they end, and not all conversations are equal. If you're talking to your financial services advisor, you want a certain amount of privacy. If you're in line at a grocery store, it's a little bit less. Similarly in the network, some, some conversations are bandwidth sensitive, latency sensitive, and so on. And so we're starting from that as a, as a starting point. Now at Plexi, we call these affinities. Affinities is essentially a conversation description language that can uh, describe who's talking to who and what's important about that particular conversation. Now, once you do that, then you need, to, you need to, to, to do something with those conversations. And so we've built an SDN controller. And that controller um, essentially converts these affinities into device-specific behavior and then drives that stuff down into the network. Now, the controller itself, it'll give you a single administrative touch point. That's great. It gives you a single place to monitor, provision, do whatever. But the real key here, the real magic is the, the freaky deaky algorithm math that goes into this that says, how do I optimize paths within the network based on changing inputs from the system? So at Plexi, what we've done is we've used this, these affinity, the affinity APIs to drive actual networking behavior through the controller. Now then, if you, if you take that the, the, the networking world itself is, is dynamic and that these conversations are dynamic, then having a statically cabled, very static network underneath it, um, that's not going to work. So what we've done is we've built a, a physical tour. Um, it's actually a collapsed, it's like more like a collapsed leaf spine, and we've used an optical interconnect. Now the cool thing about optics here is that we can use WDM, we can essentially take optics, we can um, uh, connect it up, but we can move those lambdas around so we can provide flexible capacity as and when you need it. This means that uh, if the applications, if these conversations that we're optimizing for have different or changing needs, we can move capacity when we need it so you get direct links, direct connectivity between uh, different devices on the network. And this is great for things like, uh, think storage, where you're doing heavy replication. Um, and so at points where you're going to drive a ton of network traffic, the network itself can optimize, create isolated bandwidth paths across that, and then make the storage application work better. In this regard, I would say that Plexi, we, view, we also view it as kind of an SDI world, right? These affinities, these conversations, they exist in and around the network, which means that none of this can be particularly Plexi-specific, nor can it be networking-specific. The extent to which we'll be successful is dependent on our ability to extend this and, and really integrate with areas um, you know, outside just uh, what's been the, the networking domain. So I think that's three minutes. Good morning, my name is Craig Elliott. I'm CEO and co-founder of Pertino Networks. Commercial networks of the 80s and 90s were built around proprietary hardware and proprietary protocols to deliver connectivity to the business elite, people with the money, infrastructure, and experience to be able to configure them. By the 1990s, a technical revolution was really created with a massive adoption of PCs and TCP IP as a network protocol. And Cisco built the hardware to really try to take over that infrastructure. I'd suggest we're at the crux of a third wave of networking, where things will change on a go-forward basis because mobility is the driver at the end system. And that stack that Cisco and others have kind of owned from top to bottom is delaminating. It's separating into logical components where a lot of different players can have different opportunities. And I think the most exciting thing is networking's fun again. So I'd like to introduce Pertino, a cloud networking engine that delivers Fortune 500 class connectivity to the masses without expensive hardware or complex configuration. The question we ask ourselves when we were starting the company is, how do you build a network if everyone's always mobile and half your resources are in the cloud? It became clear that buying expensive, depreciating hardware and sticking it in a closet somewhere wasn't the right answer. Instead, we used the core tenets of SDN to create networks that could be delivered as a service in the cloud with, to anybody with an internet connection. If you go to our website, pertino.com, click on build a network, you'll be asked for your name and email, a small piece of software will come down to your machine, you'll have created a secure network up into our cloud infrastructure. The next logical step is invite people that you'd like to be associated with that network as well. They get an invitation. If they say connect, you've now got a network set up, literally that fast. 
in the last month or so that we've come out in limited release just to try our software out, you know, in a public environment, we've had small businesses create over a thousand networks around the world. But the interesting thing is how we kind of do all these things. Our network engine runs entirely in the cloud. In fact, in an ever-changing environment, it changes between different cloud public or public cloud network providers. Sometimes running on Amazon, sometimes running on Rackspace, sometimes running on Linode. And our cloud control plane, also running in the cloud, orchestrates this that may be able to manage this global network of data planes that create a virtualized overlay network. That network is continuously optimized by determining end user locations and other factors to dynamically engineer the network for maximum performance and reliability. Now that we've created a secure network, we're in the perfect, perfect position to add network services as well. Would you like some URL filtering? No problem. No hardware required, and you're charged a nominal a monthly, monthly amount. Would you like to try WAN optimization? Visibility? No problem. Go to our app store and try it free for a couple weeks. Our goal is to give small and medium businesses an unfair advantage, allowing them to use world-class connectivity to compete at any level. I have one last question for you. How would you what would you do with a world-class network if you could start it up like that? Thank you.